Okay, I will show you my longboard collection. This is the Land Yost Dinghy. It's a collaboration with Mark Morris. I think this is a little yachty reference. It's very small and it, I bought it to cruise on, but it's really too small. It's not safe for me. It's too small. It's fun though. It's a Land Yachts Evo 40 Spectrum. But these are made for downhill, uh, but they're also used for LDP, which means long distance pumping or pushing, whatever. We've got some fat dad bots on them. Back, uh, it's very good longboard. It's very sturdy. If you are fat, this is the board for you. Next board. This is a Rolls Rolls Sportster. It's fiberglass. I don't know. It's very light. Uh, they say it holds like 3,000 kilograms. But this one's pretty beat up. Very nice red skateboard, but it makes a lot of noise. It's like kind of like you know. This one uh, is retired because uh, it. I hit too many curbs, so it's not because I'm fat, it's just an old board and it's very low. A bit of a basic bitch board, this is the Arbor Flagship 40, uh, you know, it's sturdy, uh, it's a drop through, I don't know, um, pretty good board, it's a bit boring, it's a beginner's board. Totally forgot to show you my favorite board, it's the Pantheon Supersonic with patch rises. Uh, 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 Mudflaps and Hoku wheels. Is this one is really sturdy. It's uh, my favorite Evo. board. It's like the Evo, but it's for LDP uh, specifically. I use this one the most. It's very reliable. This is the Pantheon Pranayama. I have got two of these. Long story, but uh, this one started delaminating. So Jeff from Pantheon Longboards, he gave me this one, including some extra wheels uh, which i'm really happy uh, with and i got these trucks. stylus trucks too that so these are all my longboards uh, thanks for keeping your attention